Hello everybody, this is Link and me are back with another episode on Feet the Beast Regrowth. Alright, so let me show you what I've done. As you may notice, we have some mushroom see the mushroom spores growing. Because we're gonna need mushrooms for uh some botany stuff. Once we've got a good pile of them, and once I got the ten to ten seeds, I'm probably going to stop growing them. But they're there temporarily just for now. Temporarily just for now makes a lot of sense. It does not. <laughs> uh, we got cotton. I don't know if this, if I show. No, I made this last episode. I'm pretty sure. But I'm getting a good stockpile of cotton. So we have 172 there, as you can see. I also made some other stuff. Oh, you can see witch's oven over here. Yes, I made one of these. Let me show you how I made it. Oh, oh, and I just. Sorry. Um. Wait for the screen to come back. I'm pretty sure Obvious would be showing a black screen right now. But about now it should be back. <laughs> I don't know how long it takes for it to actually come back. But hopefully by now you're seeing this. Which is oven. Takes two iron bars, five iron. Okay, that's very easy. And <clears throat> we have some quests to claim as well, as you can see. Oh no, we don't have any quests to claim. To claim. I thought we would have... Oh no, I need to make the clay jars as well. Yeah, we've got those now. So I can get either one of these saplings. I'm going to get the red one sapling. Oh, and also I upgraded the chest to... Well, I upgraded this chest and that chest over there to copper chests. Using it, uh, the copper... Copper upgrade. Very simple, made with eight copper and a basic upgrade, which is made with four copper stone and a piece of paper. Very easy. I also added this bit over here. I also got things prepared. If we look into here, oh, we also made some ruins of water, and we made a special something. I had a lot of stuff on camera. I also made some bags. Where are they? Bags? Oh, here's a white bag. R we made a rod of the seas. If you don't know what that does, well, well then you suck. No. Uh, it just places water. Uh, for example, if I was to do this, it should take a bit of mana, but it will place a water block, which is pretty damn cool. Alright, and also our crops have been expanding a little bit. So hopefully they get done soon. I'm sick of waiting for them to grow. Because I do need a huge amount of mat of uh, minerals, materials, to <coughs> do this. Oh, and also, I got the materials needed to make the Crucible Furnace! Try to block out the background noise! Alright, yeah, I made enough stuff to make Crucible Furnace. <coughs> So I use these heating components made out of six silicon carbide for each one. So that's twenty-four silicon car silicon carbide, which required two and each one of these required two coal and two sand and one clay block. So I think that was ninety-six clay, not clay blocks. It was um twenty-four clay blocks, but ninety-six clay. It required forty-eight coal and forty-eight sand. So that was the hard, not really hard, the most time consuming bit I'd say. Then there was the burnt bricks, which are just made with a brick and a vat, which is right there. Oh, also, we, we got a void chest. How do you craft this actually? I got it from a quest. Ah, oh, well, it requires obsidian, I don't really feel like that. Also, I wanted to see something. Okay, so you can't do that. I was going to see if you, if you could like uh, put water inside the vat, because that would be pretty tech. That would be pretty cool with the right of the seas. Getting two each for the tin right now. Okay, so let's make this. And I got another lava bucket ready right there. To make the crucible furnace. Okay, so we made the crucible furnace. We should be able to claim a quest for that in what the world enables. That wants us to make some stuff. So we need to make a ladle. Three copper. Very easy. So let's make that. 
they do. But let's make an ingot caster. We'll just type in caster so we get the ingot caster, five burn brick, and the block caster is eight burn brick. Okay, so we need burn brick. I'm going to need a little bit of sand. So let's see, eight plus five equals thirteen. So we have two brick, and then two plus. 11 equals 13. I have a learned this word. No, I don't. But I'm just really bad at math. Even though I'm in the advanced math class. Okay, so 11 plus that is 13. Yeah, that's what we want. And we'll cook that up in here. Using some charcoal that we made, but we don't actually need to use any charcoal. Because I remember, I mean, we don't need to make charcoal because it's a waste of wood because we have coal. And we have an infinite supply of it. Because if we look in here, 71 essence of coal. Watch this, guys. If I can do it right. Boom! Stuck in half of coal from one stack of that essence. Yes. We're always going to have fuel now. Okay, so let's start getting this brick into the vats. That's how you get burnt brick. So, yeah, and also, to make this, you also need a fluid tank, which is four copper, four wood, and a glass, and also the brick construction block, which is four iron bars, and four burnt brick. So, I should have gone over how to make that now, which is pretty good. So, we got, oh, actually, better grab these. I'm going to go put these over here into the witch's oven. Okay. So, we're not going to go into much witchery right now, and also, I forgot to do, in here, we have a Iron Captain wand. I went into what the world, how the way the world feels, just so we could get nine iron. So that was pretty easy. So yeah, I'm not worried about a lot, of, a lot of the lore in this, even though it does seem pretty cool. But you know, just not going to worry about it for the meantime, or well, probably not. All right, let's also make some shears because. A quest wants us to make some. It wants us to get some glint weed, and moss, and Spanish moss. Okay, well we'll get that when we can get it. But for now, that's not something we have. Okay. All right, so we'll leave witchery alone for a, for a while. Okay, so we should have some essence of the nether, shouldn't we? I swear we had some. Here it is. So we're going to make some nether seeds right now. So let's get two buckets of lava. A lot of things need lava nowadays. It's the stage we're at. So two buckets of lava. This is the nether. What else? Floor red powder, four weak essence, and essence seeds. Okay, we should have some floor powder now. And we do indeed. We have the red one which you need. Then it wants us to get some essence and some essence seeds. We can get that very easily. Four of the stuff and one of those as well. Um, now the seeds are on the way. Good. We got those on their way, which is definitely something we want to do. Now we can grab our burnt brick. That's five. That's enough to make the ingot cast. Now let's put our bricks in there so we get eight more bird bricks and while we're at it we need to make another bucket because we used our buckets on the thing yeah it's done but we have no stone so let's put some lava in there okay so that's cool what I should do now really is get some stone so Let's just grab some cobblestone. Let's, all right, we'll just put that in there. That'll get us 24 living rock, which is what we need. So three burnt bricks, we need eight of those. Should be cooking up in there, which is what we want to do. All right, so we're gonna put down our crucible furnace finally. So let's just put it down for now. Also, I made this. I didn't mean to make those, but I made. 
we'll just, we're just gonna put it down right there. So we have our crucible furnace. Okay. Now, what this needs is it needs a fuel source to have it run, and it needs something to, you know, sort of burn, make into liquid. And something we're gonna do right now, actually, is put this right next to it. And we're going to do auto eject fluids into there. So that's going to auto eject fluids into there. Although I may swap that around for the block cast whenever I need to do that. So yeah. And you're finally made. I'm going to need to need to collect some more lava at some stage. Because that is something we do also need. Okay, so we should ha have finished the quest in what the world enables. Yes, we have Crucible of Fire, and we get some nice things from it. I'm going to get rid of these clay lava buckets. And we got some burnt brick too, which is exactly what I want. Okay, and we're going to put this uh, right there. We'll just put these both right there. Also, we can't mine this yet. Ha. Huh. We'll be able to get to that soon, though. Okay, so that is that. We have a lot. We have a few more things to do in what the world enables, but I think we'll have to leave it alone for a little bit. For now, let's go put some stone around the pure daisies so we can get them turned into living rock. And I'm stupid. I always do that! I'm going to have an uneven amount of stone, which sucks. Okay. So that is that. And we're, I guess we're going to go and put the world is made of today. Or... I don't really see the point of doing witchery at this point. The point of doing witchery at this point. Now, I would do it. But here's the problem. Witchery doesn't have that many utilities at this point in the game. It doesn't have very useful things. To me anyway. To some people they probably have some very useful things, but for me there's not much imagery there's nothing imagery to me at this point that I can say is useful. But that doesn't mean that there isn't anything imagery that is useful because there are a lot of things that imagery that are very, very useful. So I will definitely get into that. Like, the circle magic is just amazing for starters. I'm going to collect these mushrooms too, because we're going to need those for the Rune of Earth. I do know that for sure. Okay, Living Rock should be done in like a moment, I'm guessing. Yep. I'm just going to grab one for now. I'll grab some more later. But we got the Nether Seeds, so that is good. That is just good. I'm going to put it down there, read out a spot for it. It was reserved. And we're just going to grow that to full nether seedness. <laughs> and so that can spread. Okay, so the issue going to what the world is made of, and we can claim that reward. We finished with the weak essence for the weak seeds, basically, for the ones that are early game. So we got now dye seeds, ender seeds, coal seeds, copper seeds, iron seeds, tin seeds, and nether seeds. Awesome. Now, I guess at this point, our next sort of materials are going to be in this section. But that is going to be a little bit <laughs> off from where we are right now. I do want to get the earth seeds as soon as we can, but a lot of those require the rune the runes of stuff and we can get some of these very easily but there are some that we can't get very easily for example rune of air it requires three minus steel carpet a piece of string and a feather and how do we get a feather well we can't get one we need a chicken and to get that we need an egg to get an egg we need a rune of earth rune of mana seeds Pasture seeds, mandrake seeds. So we can get that in a little bit, but we're not up to that just yet. Also, where's my shears? In here. 
There she is, you are. Let me just do myself a favor by creating some pasture seeds. So we got those. And... I guess we'll break you. We've got the bone nail back that we used, actually. And you can go out of my sight for... Uh, forever. I hate those things. Okay. So we can get into some of these, actually. For starters... Also, I'm gonna just do this. Made some mana pearls. Oh, also better check how much money we got in there. Okay. So we got some mana pearls now. Pretty good. I don't want to get rid of mana as well. So there's exactly five iron. I'm pretty sure. And let's put that on there. And one of the mana pearls. Rid of mana. Let's also mine up this living rock because we're gonna need it. Oh god, so slow! I'm thinking of getting the minus of tools. I've got the armor, but not the tools. But I do want to go down the team's construct route, because most people go down the magic route. But me... Hmm. Well, see, I don't really get into things. Like, I do get into a lot, but... Like, I usually move on from it. I'll usually go to Batania or something like that. I don't want to do that anymore. I just wanna, you know, do can tink, king, tinker's construct. I'm sorry, I can't word. I can't English. And let's put that down there. That is a rune of mana, which is very useful. It's used for quite a few things. For example, the terrestrial agglomeration plate, which is used for making terrestrial the end game botanic item. Used for making eggs, redstone seeds, glowstone seeds, lapis lazuli seeds, and infused shard seeds. Oh, that, was, that has a lot of stuff. Hmm. Kind of cool. So that's the Renamana. And that also helps us in the written in stone quest. Also, I'm going to make the Rune of Earth so we can get seeds today. I mean, eggs, sorry. Rune of Earth is mushroom... Coal, stone, yeah, it needs a bit of stone, doesn't it? I think mushroom, uh, coal block, and stone. Or charcoal block as well, I'm not sure, but since we, have an since we have an abundance of coal, let's just use that. So, just like that. I'm gonna get that, that. Also needs mana steel. So, I better grab that iron. And just quickly, yep. Do that. I do want a little bit of iron, so you know. For the mana steel. We'll have to get it in the crystal furnace at eventually, so soon. Okay, so we'll get the root of earth. So that'll be pretty good. And we need one more bit of iron. Do it! So, let's have a look at the Rune of Earth again. Earth. Earth, 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 Rune of Earth. Yeah, so coal, mushroom, stone, and three minus steel. Boop. So that is on its way. Exactly what we want. Do your magics. Okay, I'm gonna grab you. And we're gonna make you into a thing eventually. So we can get eggs, which means we can actually get our first animal. Hmm, pretty good. And we can also progress in what the world, uh, and sorry, in the life of the world. So that's also another really cool thing we can do. See, that's pretty cool. Alright. So we got that living rock mined up now. That's in there, and we can get to those runes of earth. So, for the eggs we need rune of earth, rune of mana, we need pasture seeds, sorry, let me, let me have a look at egg. Rune of earth, rune of mana, pasture seeds, mandrake seeds, and seeds. Seeds, seeds, and seeds. So, mandrake seeds are wanted, 
cool. I hate magic seeds. Magic seeds, and then it wants some normal seeds, and that's what I wanted. So let's go it here. Uh, 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 and eggs are now on their way. I have to get a living rock to turn them into actual eggs. And we got the eggs, and we can go to the life of the world and claim that reward. Yes! I'm just gonna use that, why not? I have one left, seriously? I'm on 30 levels. And you can't use an experience drop past the levels. Ow. Alright, let's hit that. I was gonna eat that. Because it is delicious. Okay, so now one thing I found that was quite weird was chickens can break out of fences. I know how weird it sounds, but I removed fences and put in stone walls, and that seemed to keep them in quite well. Oh god. I just, uh, you know what, I feel like we should add some grass in there, because, you know... Free range chickens give better eggs. I used to have free range chickens myself. Now let's put some uh, coal in there. Not charcoal. Yes. And you can go in there for now. Mr. Iron. Oh, and also, I just realized, you know, probably a good thing to put the coal inside the drawers. Right there. Cool. Now, I want to get some dirt so we can get some grass in that chicken area. So they can pick at some grass. Okay. Probably just a good. Oh. Very few many things to do. You know, keep the animals outside. I mean, they're outside, but. Walking around them, basically, uh, shit, <laughs> which is not good for them. And we're just gonna do this. So the chickens don't have much of an area to walk around in, but you know, like they're evil, so <laughs> I don't want them to walk around much. Evil. And we're just gonna. Th Throw out the wall to get some more chickens. And eventually they're gonna go up and give me eggs. Cool. So that is chickens. Yay! <laughs> we have chickens. I love chickens. They taste delicious. <laughs> so we can actually expand like there's some spawn eggs for different things. Spawn, but how do we make those? Bats. That's pretty expensive. Not really. What about sheep? Sheep? Yeah. We have cotton, it's alright. And there's some other stuff we can do eventually, but let's do that for later. So, that is cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna start. Focusing on the crucible furnace now. So, anyway, let's get some coal blocks. Block of coal. Alright, 25 coal in there. So, you have to heat up this crucible furnace, and you put a few in there, and it's going to start heating up, as you can see, very. Yeah. Not very quickly, because we have no heating upgrades or anything. But that's going to start heating up, nevertheless. And we can put different things in there, and they will smelt and create stuff. <laughs> Spawn create stuff is pretty descriptive. That's how it works. We're going to do tin for starters, because we haven't actually done any tin yet. And... Tin something we're gonna need later on, so you know. 
it is a good idea. So max temp per piece, 278 degrees. Because we're all 2000 degrees. What does tin need? Oh, simple. Simple stuff right there. So, we're going to have this go into the block cast and uh, 24, it creates 216 millibuckets, which is one and a half things, so that means three ingots for that. Three times 24 is bloody um, 72. So that is 72 divided by 9. It actually goes equally. So that is 8. Cool. Wait. Yes, 72 is a. Uh, is divisible by 9, I'm pretty sure. Because 7 plus 2 equals 9. Yeah, because 9 times 9 is 81. 81 minus 9 is 72. Alright, so yeah, we can do that. That will give us the right amount of items. So let's go over to here. I'm going to create... Oh, actually, I'm going to need a chest first. We're going to create a hopper. And we're going to put down a chest. Right there. Yes. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go and do this, put up onto that block, place that, put on the chest right there. So, all the ingots that go into here, or all the ingots that come out of there, will get put into here as blocks for now anyway, but I can change that to ingots. So now this is melting, because it has reached its melting point of 232 degrees. Celsius, yeah, Celsius! We don't use Fahrenheit here in Australia. We use Celsius. Because we use the metric system, I think. That's all for me, doesn't think. Huh. I frankly don't give a damn. So that's two ingots. Of three, yeah. So I want three, ing three, three ingots. So that will definitely go as I want it to. So what else can we do here? Rune of fire. I think we can also make rune of fire. Another ward, gunpowder, and another brick. So let's have a look. We need another brick from another rack. Ah. Dang it! We just gotta quickly go to the nether and borrow some netherrack. I would use the essence of the nether, but that is not quite done growing yet. We don't have enough for any nethery things yet, I'm pretty sure. So let's just grab some. Oh, dang it, sorry. Grab some netherrack. Piece them out. I do like the lack of pigmen. That's one thing I must say. Not many pigmen in this area, so, you know, it makes me a little bit happy. But they will spawn eventually, which makes me sad. Oh. Okay, let's go over to here. Actually, I don't trust that. Let's do that. Okay, let's go back through. And. Cool. That's alright, that's exactly what we want it to do. Alright, so let's come over here. Our iron's also nearly finished. Which is also what we want. Hmm. Just gonna put a bunch in there. Okay, cool. And then we need some nether wart too. So nether wart. Gunpowder. Oh, I think that's downstairs. Actually better check if the furnace is done cooking up. Yep. Oh, we put the iron away as well, sorry. Oh, I know we can grab one of those and make three mana steel. 
I'm gonna put this way as well. Oh, and you didn't actually auto do anything. <laughs> Alright. Gunpowder. We have some. And you didn't go to my inventory. I hear that bird is gonna annoy me. I'm mad because of Windows 10. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Another wart, mana steel, gunpowder, and another brick. So, rub, 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 rub. Red of fire is being made. Good. And soon we'll have the red of air once our chickens are. Did I hear a chicken? I'm hearing one from over this area. Wait, what? How'd you. What? How did you get over here? God damn, chicken. How do they... I think they're escaping somehow. What the hell? You're in that wall, aren't you? It must be because I went through the nether and stuff. A lot of the chunks and... The game decided, hey, well... Okay, you can just sit in that wall then. I don't mind. That's your problem, not mine. Three per piece there. Good. Very good. And we're going to harvest that coal as well. Hopefully our... Oh. That's three still. Which means we need to keep putting it through the... Whatchamacallit... The spreading process. Alright, so let's harvest this. And we harvest this. One right there is our highest one. So six, five, four, ten, nine, nine. Oh, that is very, that is so close to being done. So you can all get harvested. And we'll add some stuff like that right there. And one more. That should be. One, okay, two more just in case. No, one more is definitely enough. That should definitely be enough to get the 10 10 10 copper seeds. And that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna get some more compost. Yeah. The farmland's in break apparently. Which I love it for. And we got a bit of cotton as well. <laughs> nice amounts. Oh, also. Down. The runes of fire done, and now we all we need is the rune of air. When that chicken's grown up, I'm probably gonna kill it because it escaped from me. But once you get your grass, you'll all be happy, so you won't try to escape. Huh. Oh, and also, let's check in our tin. We should have some tin blocks now. Yeah, four tin blocks, that's pretty good. So we can. Then the tin ingots, and we can put this into our tin chest drawer. Cool. Man, if I had some sort of uh, lasso, I would use that. I never want to do that. Okay, so in this quest, all we need to do is run it, and then we're done. Yes. So hopefully we can do that eventually. Oh, okay, so we got a new thing what the world teaches on fuming in one. Oh, Thormenomicon. <laughs> okay, we can't do that just yet because we need little. Oh, no, we can actually do it. We can make a Thormenomicon. Thormenomicon. With some books and some and stuff. We can do this. And we can do that, and we can grab that, and we can do this. Made it. Heard the noise twice though, apparently. Alright. So we should get a quest, and we get a reward from that. Cool. That's exactly what I want. And 
we can actually look inside here. Oh, search bar. And it doesn't work, I guess. Watching gadgets. Okay, this is new and this looks really cool. What, Thormcrafter Witcher Combat? I do like this texture pack's layout. For th oh my god, the golems are cool as well. Why can't I search? Oh well. I'm guessing it's like... Alright. Oh, this is really cool though. I do like a lot of the Thorncraft textures in this texture pack. Looks really, really cool. Blood magic. Botany. And it's got forbidden magic, which I think, like, makes Thorncraft, Botania, and blood magic combined into one. <laughs> that sort of stuff. I right, can go there. That is so cool. Oh man, I love this pack so much! <laughs> and one thing I also love is that the amount of like automation in this is like there's automation there's automation in this, but it's not tech really, it's mainly magic y automation. So if you if you want to automate these crops to be automatically harvested, you gotta use golems. Which I just love so much. Because a lot of people don't do golems. I did them once in Resident Evil Rise 2 in that mod pack. I didn't do. Well, I did do a Let's Play series on it, but. And when I get to that portal, there's gonna be a skeleton waiting there to greet me. Not good. Hey, and this tin's done too. Yay! So, also, we can turn this thing off with a lever. So, let's grab some cobblestone. So we can turn this thing off with the lever. If we... The block will work. I'm just giving a signal. So that should turn it off. Oh, well, that's going to keep cooking anyway. Oh, well. So I think that's it for this episode of Regrowth. L let's have a look at what we got done. We got... I showed you the... Which is oven. I showed you the... Oh, I started with a Thumbcraft. I didn't really get into it, but I... You know, did so, I did uh, one of the quests, and I showed you that, and we also made the Thormonomicon, we made the Nether Seeds, we made the Crucible Furnace, and stuff like that. The wolves are howling at me, we got ten, those wolves, man, they are annoying as, and you can go in there. 72 tin. Oh, yes. So, from I think like. How many tin did I actually put in there? 48 tin. We got 72. So, if we look at 72 and 48, uh, 72 can be divided into 3, which is 24, and 40 can be divided into 2, which is 24. So, in result, we got a 1.5 multiplication of that. Tin. I'm trying to make myself sound smart, but I'm, I really am not smart. <laughs> oh, yay. If only I was smart. And I guess I'll make another stack of coal. Or stack and a half, I should say. And we'll also get some copper processed in the crucible furnace while episodes are in between. So we can actually turn that back on. Cool. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Feed the Beast, Re Feed the Beast Regrowth, and I will see you all in the next episode. And I'm gonna kill you in between episodes. Trust me, chicken. I will kill you. And once you die, I'll eat your delicious chicken meat, and I'll use a feather on a grin of air. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode on Feed the Beast Regrowth, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.